Hello all, Shoestring here. What we're going to do today is demonstrate how to take two batteries and connect them in series. Now, in series, what you're doing is you're taking two, and these are two 12-volt bat batteries, and you're turning them from a 12-volt system to a 24-volt system. It's important to realize, though, when you do this, make sure you have the electrical needs for 24 volts and you have an inverter that will do 24 volts. Okay? Now, different than parallel, which leaves the two batteries at 12 volts and gives you more storage capacity, what series does is takes two 12 volts and turns these into 24 volt system, but your capacity remains the same. Okay, so let's look at what we have. We have two batteries here. They're both 12 volts. And we're going to look at the number we care about here is reserve capacity. Reserve capacity is what you can take and turn into amp hours. Okay, so we have reserve capacity. This says 210. We, and this battery, we also have reserve capacity, and it also says 210. It isn't necessary in series for these to be identical, but the closer they are, the better off you're going to be. It will make discharging and charging easier. So we take our reserve capacity, and instead of going through the complicated calculations that you can do, shoestring shortcut is to take your reserve capacity and cut it in half. So 210 cut in half is 105. I throw the 5 off, and I call this a 100 amp hour battery. Same thing with this one. 210, cut it in half, 105. Throw the 5 off, you now have a 100 amp hour battery. It's not precise. There are complicated calculations to do it, but in my case, I don't. Okay, so now that we've covered that, we have two 12 volt that are 100 amp hour batteries. We also, since these are lead acid, they require maintenance, which means you need to keep them clean. You need to keep them charged all the time if you can. And you need to make sure you have water in your battery. Let's pull one off. You can see there's water in these batteries. Make sure you use distilled water. Distilled water is what these batteries require. If you put in tap water, they won't last nearly as long. Okay, water and the batteries are clean. Next thing you want to do is make sure both batteries are charged all the way up. They don't have to have the same level of charge, but they do both have to be charged. So we'll take our multimeter and we'll take the negative and connect it to the negative and the positive to the positive. And as you can see, we have 13.1. This is a 12 volt battery, totally charged. It will read 13 until you put a load on it. Then it will say 12. Okay, so same thing on this side for this battery. It says 13. So they are both fully charged. So lead acid batteries, they're clean. They have water and they're both fully charged. They are now ready to be put in series. So, first thing we're going to do is going to take a cable. Your cables should be as small as possible. Get the batteries as close together as possible. This is a little longer than I would use, but I'm doing it this way for demonstration purposes. Okay, so to boot do series, you take the battery and you connect it from the positive to the negative. Okay, as you can see, it says positive right there on the battery, and it says positive right there. Make sure you do these right, or you'll mess it up. Next, we'll take it, and we're going to put it on the negative. You see negative here, and you see negative there. If you're going to do this long term, I would put these on with a wrench, but at the moment, I'm just going to do fig finger tight because we are simply showing you how to do it. All right, positive to the negative. Now we're gonna take our multimeter and see what our voltage is. And if you can see that, 
it says 26.3, 26.3 volts. Why is that? Well, it's now a 24 volt system, but it is totally charged up. So it's going to read 26 or 25 until you get it onto a load. And then it will drop down to its 24 volts. Now, I can't stress enough, this is for a 24 volt system. Don't try to put this on the 12 volt inverter. You'll damage the inverter. When you're going to hook the, your inverter up, hook it up to the positive and the negative on this side that does not have the cable. So you've got your cable set up and you put your inverter here. Now with a 24 volt inverter, you now have a 24 volt system, which I know are becoming more and more popular. I don't use these. I use a 12 volt system. All of my batteries are connected in parallel, which is a 12 volt. But since so many people are interested and they're becoming popular and folks were asking, I went ahead and did this video to show you how to do a lead acid battery from a 12 volt to a 24 volt system. So if you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and like and put something down in the comments. I get a lot of suggestions on videos to make, things people want to know by the comments below. Shoestring out.